Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Jackson Junction and tonight's Winnesee County matchup in high school softball between the 6 and 13 Turkey Valley Trojans and the 3 and 14 Decora Vikings. We're about ready to get things underway. Katie Nimrod will lead off from the right hand side of the plate to face Kayla Schaffenbuhl for Turkey Valley. We'll give you the lineup as things go by as the first pitch is taken for a strike as called by home plate umpire Daryl Schultz. It is one strike to nothing. We get going right at 7.02 as Nimrod loops one towards second and a running grab is made there by Kirsten Hinker. One up, one down here in the first inning. So it's Katie Nimrod in right, Riley Monteith at short, Lizzie Hartman the pitcher, Haley Nearling at third, Lauren Eggert the catcher, Natalie Heffern in left, Alex Hable at second, Lexi Lewenberger in center, and Tori Miller at first base. Riley Monteith looks at a strike, nothing in one. Nice night for softball as Schaffenbuehl delivers and smacks one into left field, does Monteith for a base hit. So Monteith with a single to left, one on, one out here in the inning. Both these teams looking to get back on the winning track. Decora struggled last week. They lost six in a row. And the Trojans have lost five in a row heading into tonight's game. Lizzie Hartman will try to help her own cause. Kayla Schaffenbuehl, the senior pitcher, is one and four with a 450 ERA. The first pitch outside to Lizzie, one ball, no strikes. Defensively for the Trojans, it's Shaden Winter in left, Sadie Niemeyer in center, Stephanie Martin in right, Delaney Lansing at third as Hartman swings and fouls one right side and out of play. It's one ball, one strike. Emily Busta playing short. Kirsten Hinker at second, Morgan Kennan at first. Behind the plate, Cassidy Rikes in, in the circle, Kayla Schaffenbuehl. One ball, one strike, and the pitch inside corner for a strike, and it's now one and two on Hartman. We mentioned Daryl Schultz is the home plate umpire. Jim Bossom working the base pass tonight. One and two on Hartman. One on, one out. First inning, no score. And the pitch swung on. Popped up on the infield. The shortstop, Emily Busta, will make the catch directly behind the pitching circle. And there's two down in the inning. So two down and a runner at first for Haley Nearling. Decora will have this game at Turkey tonight and a doubleheader at Wacon. Tomorrow night and the rest of the regular season will be at home. Ground ball towards third, picked up there by Delaney Lensing and a throw to first base. And Morgan Kennan on the receiving end of the low throw from Lensing. And the side is out here in the first inning. One hit, one left. One half inning complete. It's Decora nothing and Turkey Valley coming to bat. And the Trojans will bat this way. Leading off in center field, Sadie Niemeyer. Batting second in left field, Jaden Winter. Hitting third, the shortstop, Emily Busta. Batting fourth, the pitcher, Kayla Schaffenbuehl. Hitting fifth at third base, Delaney Lensing. Hitting sixth in right field, Stephanie Martin. Batting seventh, the catcher, Cassidy Reichs. Hitting eighth at first base, Morgan Kennan. And batting ninth at second base, Kirsten Hinker. And that lineup will face Lizzie Hartman, 3 and 10, a 536 ERA. She's thrown 78 and a third of the 97 and two thirds innings to Cora has thrown this year. 107 hits, 100 runs, 60 of them earned. 58 walks, 45 strikeouts, and opponents hitting 256 against her. Natalie Heffern in left, Lexi Lewenberger in center, and Katie Nimrod in right for Decora. At third base, Haley Nearling, Riley Monteith at short. Alex Habel at second, and at first base, Tori Miller. And Lauren Eggert behind the plate with Hartman in the circle. Sadie Niemeyer will lead things off. The junior center fielder for Turkey Valley is a 299 hitter with three doubles, no triples, no home runs, and three RBIs. She'll square it a bunt and take it low from Hartman. One ball, no strikes. One name you'll notice missing from the Turkey Valley lineup is Shelby Reich. She's out with an injured thumb tonight. The pitch swung on and missed. It is one ball and one strike to count. Shelby told me before the game that it happened in last night's doubleheader against MFL Marmac here at home. The 1-1 delivery looped towards shallow right field and it'll get over Alex Hable's head and into right for a base hit. So Niemeyer with a single to right. Shelby told me before the game she'll 
probably be out a couple of days, should be back in a couple of days once the swelling on the thumb goes down. Jaden Winter, the batter, looks at the first one high from Hartman. One ball, no strikes. Winter, the left-hand hitter, as against the right-hander Hartman. And the 1-0 delivery is blown away. It's two balls and no strikes. Winter, the eighth grader, 6 for 16 on the season with a double and four RBI. 2-0, high, three balls and no strikes. Trojans under the direction of first-year head coach Haley Creener in the third base box, longtime assistant Frank Wilson in the first base box. The 3-0 in there for a strike. It's now 3-1. Haley taking over for Mark Scott, who had the program for quite some time. 3-1 grounded towards third field on two hops by Nearling, and her throw will go into right field. Niemeyer gets up and hustles towards third. Creener gives her the goal light to go home, and Niemeyer will score all the way from first base on the error, and it's 1-0 Turkey Valley. So a ground ball to third. Nearling fielded it cleanly, but... Her throw went into right field, and it went all the way to the fence. One thing I've been told about this Turkey Valley team this year, they have uh, are going to be very aggressive on the base pass and force defenses to make the play, as Emily Busta will be the batter. She'll swing and foul one third base side and out of play over the third base to Cora Dugout. No balls and one strike. The philosophy being is you force the defense to make plays. Oftentimes in high school softball, defenses cannot do that. The ball's in one strike in the pitch in there, but high. It's one ball and one strike count on Emily Busta. And Coach Greener has told her players that if I give you a go sign and you get thrown out, that's on me as Looper woes to shorten a running grab made by Riley Monteith for the second or the first out of the inning. Emily Busta retired by her competing shortstop, and Kayla Schaffenbuehl will now try to help her own cause. one nothing Turkey Valley here in the bottom of the first inning. Hartman delivers, and the pitch swung on and missed at a drop ball. No balls and one strike. The pairings have been released for 1A, 4A, and 5A, and we'll talk about them as the night goes on. The pitch swing and a foul at the plate. And snowballs and two strikes. There was a little bit of a discrepancy when it came to 2A and 3A regarding a co-op program. So those won't be released until tomorrow. As ground ball heads towards left field, and a base hit. Rounding third and getting a stop sign there from Coach Creener was winter as Schaffenville gets a single to left. She'll run for herself at first base, and Delaney Lensing will be the batter. 1-0, Turkey Valley on a Decora throwing error here in the bottom of the first inning. Lensing looks at the first pitch in there for a strike, nothing in one. You'll recall the run to the state title game the Trojans had in basketball this year. A lot of familiar names here tonight. The 0-1 delivery swung out and missed on what appeared to be a dropper. It's nothing in two. Schaffenbuehl, the runner at first. Winter, the runner at third. One down here in the inning. The 0-2 delivery swung on and missed, and Hartman gets her first strikeout. Two down in the inning, and the batter is Stephanie Martin. First and third, one down, or two down, rather. Martin bats from the right-hand side of the plate. one nothing Turkey Valley as Stephanie looks at a strike. Nothing in one. Martin, a senior, another multi-sporter for the Trojans. He'll one delivery. High, Schaffenbuehl takes off, throw goes back to the circle. And Hartman. So Schaffenbuehl takes second, uncontested. It's one and one on Stephanie Martin, who now bats with two runners in scoring position. The pitch will go low. It's two balls and one strike to count. Martin, one of four seniors on this squad. They're all in the starting lineup. Two balls, one strike, count the pitch, swung on a little roller towards second, picked up there by Hable. She bobbles it now, and everyone's going to be safe. 
Martin reaches on the error, which allows Winter to score and moves Schaffenbuehl to third. It is a 2-0 lead for Turkey Valley. Both runs unearned here in the bottom of the first inning, but they count on the board. And sophomore catcher Cassidy Reichs will stand in. Runner at first is Martin. The runner at third is Schaffenbuehl. The pitch goes low. Martin took off. It got away from Eggert momentarily, but not enough to warrant runner advancement. Or, or not enough to give her a decent chance of throwing out Martin as Martin takes second uncontested. The 1-0 delivery swung out and missed. It is one ball and one strike. 2-0 Turkey Valley. Helped out by a couple of decor errors in the inning, but you put the ball at play, you put pressure on the defense. You're doing your job. As one hopper fielded at second there by Alex Sable, and she'll pick it up on one knee and throw to first base to retire Casty Reichs. And the side here in the first inning. Two runs, two hits, two errors, two runners left. And one inning is complete. Turkey Valley leading Decora by a 2 nothing margin. One inning complete. Turkey Valley leading Decora 2-0. Two Viking errors helping the cause in the bottom of the first inning. Lauren Eggert will start things here in the second inning. As we mentioned, the postseason pairings in Class 4A have been released by the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. A geographically big area in Class 4A, region number three, as the pitch goes high to Lauren Eggert. One ball, no strikes. Decora will play at Mason City on Thursday night, July the 7th. 1-0, swinging a fly ball towards right field, retreating as Stephanie Martin. She'll make a two-handed head-high catch. And medium to deep right field, one down here in the inning. Decora again will play at Mason City on Thursday night, July the 7th. The winner of that game will play at Charles City on July the 9th. Lauren Hefford, first ball swing, grounds one towards third, and Delaney Lynch, and she'll pick it up and throw to first base. It's a low throw that Morgan Kennan can't handle, so Hefford reaches on the error by Lensing. One on, one out in the inning, and Alex Hable will be the batter. The other side of that bracket has Dubuque Wallert at Western Dubuque on Thursday night, July the 7th. And the winner of that will play at West Delaware on Saturday night, July the 9th. First ball swinging is able, looping one out in the left field. Long run for Jaden Winter. She'll make the catch just onto the outfield grass near the foul line. And there's two down in the inning. Two down, runner at first for Lexi Lewinberger. 2 nothing Turkey Valley, top of the second inning. So, you know where we'll, we'll be broadcasting from on July the 7th. This pitch goes high to Lewinberger. One ball, no strikes. And that's usually a night. I got Mr. Riley joining me for the broadcast. No promises, though. The pitch swing and a foul down the third baseline. It's one ball, one strike count. The 1A pairings have been released as well. It is one thing the girls' union does. They do try to get the, the eighth best teams to Fort Dodge. Swinging a foul back is one ball, two strikes. Turkey Valley will play on July the 5th, which is two weeks from tonight. They will host Riceville here at Jackson Junction. One, two delivery, line drive caught it short by Emily Busta. That's that for inning number two. One error, one left. And an inning and a half complete. Turkey Valley leading Decora 2-0. Two Decora errors score two runs for Turkey Valley in the bottom of the first inning. Both runs unearned, but they count on the board. It's a 2-0 lead for Turkey Valley. And hitters 8-9 and 1 will be due. Morgan Kennan, Kirsten Hinker, and Sadie Niemeyer. Again in 1A Region 3, as we were just telling you before the break, Turkey Valley will play host to Riceville on Tuesday night, July the 5th. If they win that, they will play at New Alban against Kihai. A top five team in Class 1A on Wednesday night, July the 6th. Regional semi at New Alban on Friday night, July the 8th. And then the regional final will be played at the highest remaining seat on Monday night, July the 11th. Morgan Kinnon looks at a strike, nothing in one. 
Hartman delivers, pitch swung on, a little roller back to Hartman. She fields in front of the circle and an overhand toss to Miller at first, retires Kinnon. One down here in the inning. One down, nobody on for Kirsten Hinker. So all the pairings are available at the Girls Union website if you are interested for 1A, 4A, and 5A as Hinker tries to bunt and bunts through it. It's nothing and one. There was a little bit of a discrepancy, a clerical error, if you will, in 2A and 3A, so they'll get released tomorrow. So we're going to pop up, foul down the right field line, taking a peek as Nimrod, but it lands out of play beyond the first base Turkey Valley dugout. No balls, two strikes to count. 2 nothing Turkey Valley here in the bottom of the second inning. On two with one down. The 0-2 delivery swing a fly ball down the right field line and foul. That one landed in play, but not in time for Nimrod to have room to get there. The ball's two strikes. The count remains on Hinker. And the pitch swung on and a foul tip into the glove of Lauren Eggert behind the plate. Second strikeout for Lizzie Hartman, two down in the inning. And Sadie Niemeyer, who started the two-run rally in inning number one, will be the batter. Sadie, one for one. And the first offering swing and a foul down the right field line and out of play. The ball is one strike count. trying to end a six-game losing streak. Turkey Valley trying to end a five-game losing streak as the pitch goes low. Rolled in there by Hartman. And it's one ball, one strike. One-one delivery. Swinging a foul at the plate. Emeyer ahead of the off-speed offering from Hartman. And it's one ball, two strikes. One and two the count. The pitch swing and a miss, strike three. Trojans go quietly in the second inning. Three up, three down. We head to the bottom half of the second inning, or rather the top of the third. It's 2 nothing Turkey Valley. Turkey Valley leading 2 nothing as we go to the third inning. Corey Miller, Katie Nimrod, and Riley Monteith. Hitters 9-1-2 and two to face Kayla Schaffenmuehl, who's given up one hit. Hasn't walked or struck out anybody thus far. And has gone to only one two-ball count. First pitch out of the zone to Torrey Miller. One ball, no strikes. 1-0 delivery. Change up high. It's two balls, no strikes. Two and over the count from Schaffenbuehl. A check swing is taken for a strike on the outside edge. Two balls, one strike. Schaffenbuehl, the senior pitcher. Role player on the state runner-up team in basketball as well as the pitch swung out and missed. A good dropper down and in to the right hand hitting Miller. Two balls, two strikes to count. 2-2 delivery. Chopper towards third. Charging there is Linson. She'll pick it up and throw to first base to retire Miller. One down in the third. One down. Nobody on. And the batter will be Katie Nimrod. She looped out to second and Kirsten Hinker in the third inning. Or in the first inning. She's up again here in the third with Fikes trailing 2 0. One hopper to third and Delaney Linson. She'll pick it up and throw it to first base to retire Nimrod. And there's two down in the inning. So Linson with four chances in the first 10 batters. And she's fielded three of them cleanly. Two down, Riley Monteith, the batter. 2 0 Turkey Valley here in the third. 
Monteith has to Coors only hit, and she rolls one past a diving Hinker and into right center field for a base hit. So Monteith with a two-out single, and Lizzie Hartman will try to help her own cause. Hartman popped a shorter first time up. Swing and a pop up, shallow right field out as Hinker a step onto the outfield grass from her second base position. She'll make the catch to retire the side. One hit, one left, two and a half complete. It's Turkey Valley leading Decora 2 0. 2 0 Turkey Valley as we go to the bottom of the third inning. Tomorrow night we'll have Decora Viking baseball in the air. The Vikings will take on Cresco at Olin Zach Field in Decora. 7.28 broadcast time for that one. Thursday night we'll have Decora and Waverly Shellrock. It'll be a 7.20 start time for that one. We'll only have game two of the doubleheader in that game on the air. 10, and then Friday night we'll travel to Owen as Decora takes on the Huskies in baseball. Our coverage for that game will start at approximately 7.20. Jaden Winter will look at the first pitch high. One ball, no strikes. Winter reached on an error and scored on an error in the first inning. 1-0 delivery taken up. It is two balls and no strikes from Hartman. The two runs for Turkey Valley came in the first inning. Single to right for Niemeyer. Then Winter hit a ball towards third, nearly through to second base, and her throw was wild and it ended up Going all the way to the fence. Niemeyer scored from first base on that play. Three balls, no strikes from Hartman in the pitch down Broadway for a strike. And it's three and one. And with two outs, Stephanie Martin reached on an error by Alex Hable that allowed Gene Winter to score to make it two nothing. Three one, a foul tip in the glove of Egert behind home plate. And it's three balls, two strikes now. Three and two the count. The pitch swinging a foul at the plate. So we'll do it again. At three balls, two strikes. Three two. Swinging a pop up foul. Third base side and out of play. Into some Viking spectators in their lawn chairs. On the hillside here at Turkey Valley Field. On the south side of the school building down here. Three balls, two strikes to count. The pitch swung out and missed. Good off-speed pitch and Winter out in front. Hartman gets her four strike out, one down here in the inning. One down, nobody on. Emily Busta the batter. Popped a short in the first, 0 for 1. And her first pitch, a strike, nothing and one. At the letters on the inside edge. Owen won the count, the pitch, one hopper. Fielded at short by Monteith and throws on to first base. To retire her competing shortstop for the second time tonight. And there's two down here in the inning. Two down, the batter is Kayla Schaffenbuehl, who singled to left her first time up. She grounds one towards third, fielded there by Nearling, lost the throw over to first base to retire Schaffenbuehl and the side here in the third inning. Three up, three down. We head to the top half of the fourth inning, Turkey Valley leading by a two to nothing margin. <laughs> top of the fourth inning we go, it's a two nothing lead for Turkey Valley, two to Viking error, scored the runs in the first inning. Two hits uh, given up by Kayla Schaffenbuehl through three innings. Hasn't walked anybody, hasn't struck out anybody. Middle third of the order due for the core up. Haley Nearling, Lauren Eggert, and Natalie Heffern. Heffern reached on an error, and Riley Monteith has two hits. Those have been the base runners for the quarter thus far as Nearling swings and grounds one to second, and Hinker 
An easy toss over to Kennan at first. One pitch, one out here in the fourth inning. We talked about it earlier. Decora going to open their postseason play against Mason City. On July the 7th, Mason City right now is a 6-16 six and 16 team. Just a comparative score. They lost to Charles City on Saturday, 5-2. As Lauren Eggert looks at the first one low, one ball, no strikes. Eggert flew out to right. And Stephanie Martin in the second inning. 1-0 delivery, fly ball, center field right at Sadie Niemeyer. She'll make a one-handed snag in medium depth center for the second out of the inning. Two down on the batter is Natalie Heffer. Mason City is a team that has beaten Waverly Showrock this year, 3-2. to two. As Heffern hits ground ball to third off the glove of Lensing, picked up at short by Busta. Her throw too tall for Kennan. And I don't know if she would have gotten Heffern anyway. But we'll give the error to Lensing had she fielded it cleanly. Heffern probably would have been out at first as Alex Abel flew out to left in the Second inning, looks at the first pitch high here. One ball, no strikes. Runner at first, two down. Fourth inning, 2-0. The score, Turkey Valley on top. The 1-0 delivery, ground ball towards short and past a lunging busted into center field for a base hit. So for the first time in this game, Decorat has two runners on in the same frame. First and second with two down, Lexi Lewenberger the batter. Moonberger lined to short her first time up. The pitch, ground ball foul just to the left of the bag on the third base side. No balls and one strike. Heffern becomes the first Decora runner to reach second base tonight. The 0-1 delivery, ground ball towards short. Emily Busta will pick it up and give an underhand toss to third base and Delaney Lensing to force Heffern and the side here in the fourth inning. One hit, one error, two left. We're halfway home in this Wenashee County matchup tonight. It's a 2-0 lead for Turkey Valley. 1-0 count to Delaney Lensing and Delaney swings and misses at the next offering from Hart. Hartman and it's one ball and one strike count. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. So one and two the count on Hart from Hartman to Lensing. The one two delivery swing and a pop up foul. Third base side and out of place, so we'll do it again at one ball, two strikes. Hartman, after the rocky start, has settled down well. She has retired seven consecutive Trojan batters. Delaney Lensing trying to end that trend. One, two delivery high. Two balls, two strikes to count. Two and two. On Delaney Lensing, and the pitch from Hartman, ground ball to third, fielded there by Nearling. Sidearm toss over to first base and Miller, and one down here in the inning. One down, and Stephanie Martin will be the batter. Martin reached on an error, which allowed the second run to score back in the first inning. The pitch swung on and missed. It's no balls and one strike. The swing and a half swing pop up towards second to her left, Alex Abel there to make the play. Two down in the inning. So nine in a row shut down by Lizzie Hartman. And the batter is Casty Rikes. And Casty looks at the first pitch. Low, one ball, no strikes. Rikes grounded to second in the first 0 for 1. 1-0 delivery, swing and a miss. It is one ball, one strike. Trojans lead 2-0. Decora actually out hitting Turkey Valley 3-2. Decora out 
in, in fact, the errors are now even at two. Pitch goes high. It's two balls, one strike on Casty Rakes. The 2 1 delivery. High. It's three balls and one strike now. Rikes trying to become the first batter since the first to reach base for Turkey Valley. The 3 1 delivery swung on and a pop up shallow center field after his Lewinberger and it'll fall in front of her. And that is a base hit for Rikes. Third hit of the game for Turkey Valley. Lewinberger went out, and the ball ended up barely beyond the infield dirt. And Morgan Kennan will try to keep the two-out rally going. She grounded back to Hartman in the second. Looks at the first pitch low here. One ball, no strikes. one -o delivery. Ground ball right side. Picked up there by Alex Abel at second. Underhand toss to first. Retires Kennan in the side here in the fourth inning. One hit, one left, four done. Two nothing, Turkey Valley. Emily Busta is now pitching for Turkey Valley on in relief of Kayla Schaffenbuehl, who after four innings gave up three hits. No runs, no walks, and no strikeouts either. Moving to the shortstop position for Turkey Valley. I believe that is Ashton Kout, a sophomore. It looks that way. Yep. Short stop and pitcher. Okay, thank you. Daryl Schultz being the heck of a nice guy that he is. Even tells the radio guy about the changes and nothing like a radio guy umpire conversation on the air. At least one that's respectful. As Tori Miller looks at the pitch outside, one ball, no strikes. Miller grounded to third in the third. 0 for 1. Emily Busta has been the main pitcher starting 13 of the 19 games for Turkey Valley. That one hammered towards right center field. It'll be a base hit and one hopping against the fence. Miller with a turn at first base. She'll stay put right there as Niemeyer got to the ball quickly for the first time in this game. Decorak gets their leadoff runner on. And it looks like a pinch runner coming in for Decorak. And Caitlin Walter will run for Miller at first base. Katie Nimrod will start the third trip around the batting order. Nimrod lined out to second in the first inning. And grounded to third in the third. Runner at first, nobody out. Fifth inning, Turkey Valley got two in the first inning and it's held up to this point. As Nimrod Bunts tries to get the bat out of the way and it ends, ends up fouling the pitch off. No balls and one strike. Was delivers pitch low and it skips away from Reichs to her left so Walter will move to second base. And for the first time in this game, Decorah has a runner in scoring position with less than two outs. One and one the count. The pitch high. Two balls, one strike. The two. One high again, it's three balls and one strike now. Riley Monteith who has Decorah's two hits on deck, next one low, and Katie Nimrod is on base for the first time in this ball game. Runner at first is Nimrod, the runner at second is Walter running for Tory Miller. Riley Monteith will be the batter. She singled to left in the first, single to right in the third. 2-0 Turkey Valley. Vikes threatening here in the fifth. 
First pitch low from Emily Busto. One ball, new strikes. One and oh, the count, and Emily delivers the pitch low. Two balls, new strikes now. Two and oh, the count. 2 0 delivery, swinging a pop up foul. Angling over is. More is. Looked like uh, Schaffenbuehl at first base. And Schaffenbuehl couldn't quite get there. Schaffenbuehl is playing first base for Morgan Ken Ground ball to shorten Cout. Cout will go to third and force out Walter. And it'll be a 6-5 force out. Runners at first and second with one down. And the batter will be Lizzie Hartman trying to help her on cause. First and second, one down, 2 nothing. Turkey Valley in the fifth. First pitch low to Hartman. One ball, no strikes. She popped a short in the first and popped a second in the third. Up again here in the fifth, 1-0 high. Two balls and no strikes to count. Two zero from Busta, swinging a foul back to the screen. Two and one on Lizzie Hartman now. Nimrod at second, Monteith at first. Two one from Busta, well high. It's three balls and one strike. The count on Hartman. Three one. Swinging a pop-up foul to the first base side of the backstop behind home plate. And now it's three and two on Lizzie Hartman. Three-two delivery, swing and a miss on an off-speed offering and Busta gets a big strike out there. That's the first Decora batter that has struck out tonight. First and second with two down, and the batter is Haley Nearling. Nearling grounded to third in the first, grounded to second in the fourth, and she'll look at the first pitch for a strike. It is nothing and one. Cora with four hits, Turkey Valley with three. Nearling swings and fouls. The next one at the plate, and it's no balls, two strikes now. O2 swinging a pop up straight back and out of play. So we'll stay put at no balls and two strikes. At second, Nimrod. At first is Monteith. An off speed offering from Busta goes high. It is one ball and two strikes. One and two the count. The pitch. Outside. Now the deuce is wild on the Decora cleanup hitter. Two two. High and away. It's three balls, two strikes. On Haley nearly. Three two. Ground ball past Busta, fielded at second, and bobbled there by Hinker. She tried to apply the tag on Monteith and couldn't do it. So now the base is loaded for Decora with two down, and Lauren Eggert with a big time chance. Nimrod third, Monteith second, Nearling first, Eggert the batter. She flew out to right in the second and flew out to center in the fourth. It's the third error tonight for Turkey Valley. As Busta delivers and the pitch at the knees and for a strike to Eggert. The ball's one strike. By far the best scoring chance of the night for Decora right here. The pitch inside. One ball, one strike to count. Two 
One and one, the count, the pitch. Ground ball towards third fielded there by Lensing. She'll throw across the diamond to retire Egert. And the side is out here in the fifth inning. No runs, one hit, one error. Base is left loaded. The Vikings have left eight through five at the end of four and a half. It's two nothing Turkey Valley. Bottom of the fifth inning, Turkey Valley scored two unearned runs in the bottom of the first inning. And it is held up to And it is held up to this point, a 2-0 lead for Turkey Valley. Kirsten Hinker, the number nine hitter in the lineup. Look at the first pitch low, one ball, no strike. She struck out swinging on three pitches back in the second. 1-0 delivery in there for a strike. It's 1-1. One one. Hartman has given up three hits, two unearned runs, has struck out four and walked no one to this point. One ball, one strike, count the pitch well back to the screen on the rise ball. Two balls, one strike, the count. Pitch low, three balls, one strike now. Three and one the count. And the pitch on the inside edge for a strike. It's three and two. Three, two. Swing and a miss. Eggert applies the tag for good measure. And one down here in the fifth inning. Fifth strikeout for... Lizzie Hartman, who's throwing well tonight, has yet to give up an earned run. Now Sadie Niemeyer begins the third trip around the batting order as she pops one first base side and Hartman out of the circle to make a running grab in fair territory near the foul line, about 20 feet up the line on the first base side, two down here in the inning. Two down, and the batter is... Street and Winter, who fouls the first pitch, left side and out of play. No balls and one strike. Oh, one delivery, ground ball towards third, underneath the glove of Nearling, picked up at short by Monty, throw to first base, not in time, infield hit for Winter. And a runner at first with two down for Emily Busta, the now pitcher in the game. O one one deliver, or uh, first delivery to Busta is low. One ball, no strikes. Busta has popped out to short and Monteith in the first, grounded to short in the third. 2 nothing Turkey Valley. We play at the bottom of the fifth inning. The 1-0 grounded towards short and Monteith again. She'll throw on to first base and Miller to retire the sack. One hit, one left. We head to the sixth. Turkey Valley leading 2 nothing. Natalie Hepburn swung at the first pitch of the sixth inning and grounded out to second and Kirsten Hinker. Alex Abel is now the batter. She's one for two. And the pitch goes low. It's two balls, no strikes. Abel is flown out to left in the second, single to center in the fourth. Two nothing Turkey Valley as we play the sixth inning as Alex fouls one first base side. Emily Busta on her in relief of Kayla Schaffenbuehl. Schaffenbuehl went four innings, three hits, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Supposed to loaded the bases in the fifth, but didn't give up anything. Swing, bunt, third base side, foul. It's two balls and two strikes to count. Two 
Two and two the count. One down here in the sixth inning. 2-2, two, two. popped up foul, third base side, and a diving attempt and a catch made behind the plate by Cassidy Rikes. Heck of a play by Rikes as that pop-up had a low trajectory. Rikes found it, dove after it, got the uniform dirty a bit, and ended up making the play. So two down in the inning, and the batter is Lexi Lewenberger. She lined out to short in the second. Into a fielder's choice in the fourth. First pitch out of the zone. One ball, no strikes. One zero, swing and a miss. It's one ball, one strike. Decora is yet to go down in order in this ball game. One and one, the count and the pitch low. Two balls, one strike on Lexi Lewenberger. Two to nothing. Turkey Valley on top. The pitch swinging a foul back. Is now two balls and two strikes to count. Two and two with two down. Buster ready, the 2-2, swing and a miss, strike three, and for the first time in this game, Decora goes down in order, three up, three down, bottom of the sixth we go. It's a two-nothing lead for Turkey Valley. Bottom of the sixth inning we go, two runs in the first inning that were unearned by Turkey Valley have held up to this point. And Kayla Schaffenmuehl will start things here in the sixth inning. She singled left in the first and grounded to third in the third. The pitch swung on a fly ball towards right center field after it is Nimrod, and she will make the catch in shallow right center. One pitch, one out here in the sixth. One pitch, one out. And the batter is Delaney Lensing. Struck out swinging in the first. Grounded to third in the fourth. Ground ball towards third. Picked up there by Nearling. On to first base to retire Lensing. Two down here in the sixth inning. Two down. And nobody on for the batter. Or for Stephanie Martin. Reached on an error in the first. Popped to second in the fourth. And the pitch low, one ball, no strikes. Lizzie Hartman is thrown and least in the games I've gotten to see. One of her better games tonight. Hasn't given up an earned run. Pitch swung on and missed. One ball, one strike. Has struck out five. Hasn't walked anybody. And she has only given up four hits to Turkey Valley. 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. The Vikes will have 9-1 and 2 due in the seventh inning against... Emily Busto tr will try to save it for Kayla Schaffenbuehl. Pitch flown away. It's two balls and two strikes now on Stephanie Martin. The Trojans have gone down in order in two of the five innings to this point. 2-2 two -two delivery. Drops in low. It's three balls, two strikes now. Three and two the count. And the pitch low for ball four. First walk of the game for Hartman. Three ball, two strike pitch went low, and Cassidy Rikes will get a chance. Rikes grounded to second in the first, and single to center in the fourth. First pitch in there for a strike. It is nothing and one. In the coral, we'll have Miller, Nimrod, Monteith, that it was 9 1 and 2 due in the seventh inning. 0-1, swing and a foul, right side out of play. So it's no balls, two strikes now on Cassidy Rikes. One walk, five strikeouts, and four hits given up by Hartman to this point. 
as the pitch goes low. And it's now one ball, two strikes. One two delivery. Roll towards second and Alex Hebel. She'll pick it up and throw it to first base to retire Rikes and the side here in the sixth inning. One walk, one left. Vikes need two to keep it going. They trail it two to nothing. Top of the seventh inning we go. Decora needs two to keep this thing going. They're actually out hitting Turkey Valor, or hits, or I should say, are even at four. Turkey Valley with three errors, Decora with two. But in the stat that counts, Turkey Valley has a two to nothing lead. They scored two runs unearned in the first inning. It's held up to this point as the pitch goes high. One ball, new strikes to Tory Miller. Next offering low, it's two balls, new strikes. Miller grounded to third in the third and single to right in the fifth. Goes to ready, pitch swung out, popped up right side. Rikes sees it late but catches it in foul territory. Right near home plate, one down here in the seventh inning. One down, and nobody on. This is AM 1240 KDEC to and KDECradio.com. Darren Swinson from Jackson Junction and Ida County matchup in softball. Turkey Valley leading Decora 2-0. Katie Nimrod looks at the first pitch high. One ball, no strikes. 1-0 to Nimrod, swinging a foul at the plate. It is one ball and one strike count. Two unearned runs in the first inning have held up to this point. Kayla Schaffenbuehl and Emily Busta have combined to shut out Decora through six and a third on four hits. Is that one towards left field? After it is Winter. She can't get there. It's against the fence. Nimrod will stop at second with a double. So Katie on for the second consecutive time after walking back in the fifth inning. A runner at second with one down. And Riley Monteith will be the batter. And Haley Creener will head out and have a conversation with her infield and battery in the pitching circle. Haley in her first year as head coach here at Turkey Valley. Frank Wilson staying on. He's been a longtime assistant in this program. And he's helped out in many Sports down here. Riley Monteith is two for three. Single to left in the first. Single to right in the third. Hit into a force play in the fifth. Two nothing Turkey Valley. Monteith representing the tying run for Decora. First pitch to Riley in there for a strike. Nothing in one. Oh one, that one low, heck of a stop behind the plate by Cassidy Rikes. It rolled in there and actually went behind Monteith and Rikes went to her left to prevent runner advancement. Saving 60 feet, one ball, one strike and pitch high from Busta. It's two balls, one strike count. Two and one the count and the pitch high. It's now three and one. Now, if you put Monteith on, we put the go-ahead run to the plate for Decora. 3-1, swung on fly ball, center field relatively deep. Retreating is Nimai right by the fence. She will make the catch. Nimrod will tag and move up to third. She'll be there with two down. That was about 20 feet to the left of the 210 side out in center field. Monteith gave that one a ride. But Sadie Niemeyer able to answer the call. Two down and Hartman at the plate for Decora. Pitch low, one ball, new strikes. Hartman the last hope for the moment for Decora as Turkey Valley leads it two to nothing. Hartman 0 for three. She'll swing and drive one to deep left center field. Retreating is Niemeyer. She will make the catch. And the Turkey Valley Trojans have defeated Decora 
by a two to nothing margin. Two runs, four hits, three hits, three errors, and five left for Turkey Valley. No runs, five hits, two errors, and nine left for Decora. The winning pitcher, Kayla Schaffenbuehl. She's now two and four on the season. Emily Busta gets her first save of the season. The losing pitcher, Lizzie Hartman, she is now three and 11. So Decora drops to three and 15, and Turkey Valley ends a five game losing streak. They are now seven and 13. Many people to thank for making the broadcast possible. First and foremost, our advertisers, the good sports-minded people who helped us bring the game wherever you were tonight. Without their help, this coverage would not be possible. So as always, we encourage you to support the businesses who support local high school sports. And lastly, and most importantly, we thank you, that's right, you, the listener, for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of Turkey Valley and Decorah tonight. The Trojans win it 2-0. We'll have Viking baseball on the air tomorrow night. Vikings will take on Crest, Crestwood in Decura, a 7.20 start time for that one. So for our entire KDUC sports team, Darren Swenson saying so long from Jackson Junction. Trojans win it 2-0. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. We'll talk to you tomorrow night.